Hello dear patients, today we are going to review the case of Mycoplasma hominis in men. This is quite a common sexually transmitted infection. It is transmitted on its own and within a group, when several infections are transmitted. In this case we will review a case of mono infection, when there is only one infection. A young man came to us with each and some discharges, particularly in the mornings. He had a casual sexual contact approximately one and a half to two months ago. Some discharges and burning appeared approximately a week ago, and he came to our clinic after that. On observation you can see that there are some discharges, there is reddening of urethral lips. However, they are not as significant as during gonorrhea. Often patients do not note such changes for a long time, and this leads to chronization of the process. Many people think that you can continue carrying this infection painlessly, however it significantly accelerates the development of prostatitis in men or vesiculitis. You can watch separate video about prostatitis and vesiculitis on our channel. So this long-term carriage and leukocytosis, leukocytosis is basically an inflammation in the canal and a relatively small amount of pus, still leads to constant so-called heats towards prostate, testicles, seminal vesicles, etc. On examination, Mycoplasma hominis was found in this man. Apart from that, immunoglobulin M was already positive, immunoglobulin A was positive and immunoglobulin G was negative. You can watch separate video more about immunoglobulins during Mycoplasma hominis on our channel. This indicates that infection is relatively fresh and this was confirmed by data of his relatively short disease. Leukocytes were also increased, they were about 15 to 20 within a visual field, which indicates a moderate degree of inflammation. Culture test of Mycoplasma hominis for sensitivity to antibiotics was done. Today it's very important to do culture tests for sensitivity because often today many patients have a lot of antibiotics themselves and even without it, often a perverted sensitivity is noted. We have met mycoplasma and ureoplasma with sensitivity to only one antibiotic out of the whole group that was tested. So there is a high possibility of getting into that case even if you follow modern guidelines. As a result of that it was decided to treat this mycoplasma. This young man didn't have a constant sexual partner, so he could well be treated on his own and the treatment was a complex one. You can watch several videos about treatment of Mycoplasma hominis on our channel. These are installations, injections of longidaza, enzymes like lidaza, hemotrypsin. If the process is not old, then there is no need to exclude prostatitis, as in this case for example. Apart from that, ozone was used, as well as immune medications. The course of treatment was standard, and after that, in three weeks' time, control analysis were taken. The patient already noted a significant improvement and disappearance of symptoms secondary to treatment, but in three weeks' time, control analysis were taken for inflammation, as well as culture test for mycoplasma and PCR for mycoplasma hominis. This all was negative, and leukocytes got into normal number. So, even if some symptoms are absent, I would still advise to be periodically checked, at least once a year or once in two years, if sexual life is relatively rare. This can lead to finding sexually transmitted infections, including latent ones, and a significant prolongation of male sexual health, as these seemingly latent infections have a very strong influence on it. If it is necessary to diagnose and treat the different sexually transmitted infections, including Mycoplasma hominis, you can consult our paid medical center of Dermatic Neurologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced venerologists and urologists who do diagnostics and treatment of such infections. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.